So, welcome friends and family. We are gathered here today to witness the lifelong commitment that Mitch and Lizzie are about to make to each other. And I know that they're delighted and honored to be surrounded by so many of their closest humans. To their parents especially, they'd like to thank you for loving and supporting them so enthusiastically. When considering their options for getting married, Mitch and Lizzie weren't always sure they wanted a wedding ceremony. For a minute there, they planned to elope to Japan with Lizzie's mom, Margaret, falling on the next nonstop flight wherever they liked it or not. I feel quite a bit of us here would also be on the next plane to Japan. So why have they and countless others around the world today asked everyone that they love most to come watch them hold flowers and say some nice things to each other? Because despite all of our differences, love is what we all share. It is the one universal truth. The marriage ceremony has always been an important feature across nearly every culture, religion, and society for this reason. We have thousands of important moments that happen throughout our lives, but this one is so critical that we acknowledge its specialness by sharing it with our favorite people. So to the friends and family here with us today, your enduring support and presence it was what makes this day truly special. It's only fitting that you are the ones to share in this day and the open bar as well. Oh, man, I'm starting to cry too again. <laughs> so, that's why we're all here. We're here for love, and we're here for you too. We're here to hope with you, to be proud of you, and maybe most importantly, to remind you that marriage isn't always easy. A heart's a heavy burden, after all, as Hal says. There's an entire lifetime ahead of you to be lived, and there are skills to be learned and practiced daily. Love is not just big events like vacations, birthdays, and engagements. It's mostly made up of the small moments that no one sees. All these small moments like cooking dinner, watching anime together, doing projects around the house, and spending time with their two cats, Morty and Gigi. They're less exciting, but no less important. These everyday moments fuse together into one big experience that has the potential to be whatever you make it. It's how you two show up for each other in these times that matter most. And even though this experience is so significant, words fail us when we try to explain it. That's just the way it is with love. It's something that's meant to be felt, not described. But trying to describe love is one of our favorite pastimes. We use the limited language we have to write stories and poems and songs about love. And even though we describe it in different ways, and even though love can look different from one person to the next, we acknowledge it when we see it. So today, we have some words about what love is from the book, The Prophet. Think not you can direct the course of love, for love, if it finds you worthy, directs your course. Love has no other desire but to fulfill itself. But if you love and must needs have desires, let these be your desires, to melt and be like a running brook that sings its melody to the night, to know the pain of too much tenderness, to be wounded by your own understanding of love and to bleed willingly and joyfully, <laughs> to wake at dawn with a winged heart and give thanks for another day of loving, to rest at noon hour and meditate love's ecstasy, to return home at even tide with gratitude, and then to sleep with a prayer for the beloved in your heart and a song of praise upon your lips. Now, on to the main event. Mitch and Lizzie will now make their vows to each other, beginning with Mitch. Thank you, Patrick. You're very welcome. <clears throat> the day we met, I remember watching this girl wearing black and white checkered pants, rolling up to Buzz Mill on a scooter going way too fast, thinking to myself, wow, I hope that's the girl I matched with on Tinder. <laughs> I think I knew you were going to be the one when we moved in together. I think we have only been dating for a couple of months and the world was ending with COVID. We both had no idea what could happen, but we both knew it was going to be a new chapter in our lives. The fact you wanted to take this risk with me, I knew you were the one. It's been a crazy journey while we've been together. We've survived a pandemic. You survived my gaming obsession. I've seen your Sims mods. 
we bought a house and we are already talking about children. It's hard to explain, but I feel like I've grown more in the past four years with you than in the past 26 years of my life combined. And I think you are the reason for that. You're the most supportive, caring, and dedicated person I've ever met in my life. The amount of passion you put into everything you do makes me strive to be a better person. The thought that I might be a father someday soon definitely scares me, but the fact that you are going to be the mother to those children gives me excitement and motivation to be the best father I absolutely can. Because I know you're going to put every ounce of energy you have into our family as you have with our relationship. One of my favorite quotes from the Naruto manga, chapter 90 or episode 91, they say wherever someone is still thinking of you, that place is your home. I never would have imagined in my life that I would have a home in both Illinois and Texas. Thanks to you, that is now my reality and I could not be any happier. When someone asks me what the future holds for us, I see children and a nice long vacation after this weekend. But more seriously, I see us starting our own business in the next few years continuing our journey in the real estate world and having fun while doing it. This is, <clears throat> there's no one else on this planet I would rather take this journey with. I vow to continue to wake up every day next to you, make you coffee, feed our cats, make plans on the weekends, and always come up with dumb things to say that will make you smile. <laughs> I vow to be the best husband to you. I vow to be the father, the best father to our children, and I vow to always love you. I'm excited to spend the rest of our lives together. That's amazing. We can't kiss. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's amazing. No, stop. <laughs> oh. Do you pick up my audio? Probably. Mitch, I can't believe that we're finally here. I would say I've been waiting for this day since the day that we met. But the truth is that I've been waiting for a love like this my entire life. And I was waiting for you, my other half, and I have never loved you more than in this very moment. Mitch, when you entered my life, it was like a peaceful wave washing over the ocean. You are truly one of a kind and everything I want. What I love about you is that you make a room full of people that don't know each other suddenly feel comfortable and like home. That very same feeling is what you give me daily. You make me feel safe, empowered and unstoppable. You encourage me to be myself and you love all my quirks. You support me through life's difficulties and listen with intention. You always act for our family first, the four of us. Shout out Morty and Gigi. Plus, you have the ability to remain very humble even though you look like an Abercrombie model. I mean, come on. <laughs> As for us, I knew it was forever in November of 2019 when we left separately to Thanksgivings in Corpus in Illinois. When we returned to Austin, we had said we'd never, we said we'd never be apart again that long, and we haven't since. <laughs> when everything felt scary in the world around us during the pandemic, we had a chance to grow and thrive as a couple. The universe brought us together at just the right time. I'll never forget the amazing memories we've created so far from our first apartment moving in together to our first night in, the, in our own home that we own. I can't wait to make so many more memories together like our family and our business ventures in the future. We'll be two best friends growing old together because I want to laugh with you for the rest of my life. Be it our endless bits or half-baked accents, every day together is better than the last. I can't wait to be the best wife I can for you. I promise to show up for you every day. I promise to be your rock by loving you unconditionally and catching you when you fall. I will protect your heart and keep it close to mine. I will always prioritize communication and let go of what anyone thinks because at the end of the day, it's just you and I. Mm -hmm. Let's flourish alongside each other for the rest of our time on this earth and beyond. As Gon said to Kilawa, in my next life, I want to be me, and I want to meet you again. And just like the two of them together, we are a force of nature. We'll lift each other up and stand up for one another when we need a boost. We are each other's biggest cheerleaders, and I wouldn't have it any other way. You're my best friend and my twin flame, and I love you to the moon and back. I love you. I love you so much. In addition to these vows, you've both chosen rings as a reminder of these sentiments and commitment. 
Your wedding rings are the outward and visible sign of the inward and invisible bond which already unites you two. Please face each other and hold hands. Dang, y'all are good at that. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. William Mitch, keep Lizzie as your favorite person, to laugh with her, go on adventures with her, be proud of her, grow old with her, support her through life's stormy weather, and find new reasons to love her every day. I do. Will you, Lizzie, keep Mitch as your favorite person, to laugh with him, go on adventures with, be proud of him, grow old with him, and support him through all of life's weather. I do. <laughs> Mitch, place this ring on Lizzie's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a reminder of my love for you. As a reminder of my love for you. May our love and friendship last forever. May our love and friendship last forever. Lizzie. Place the ring on Mitch's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a reminder of my love for you. As a reminder of my love for you. May our love and friendship last forever. May our love and friendship last forever. May the wedding rings you exchange today remind you always of the love that you have for one another and the commitment that you've made today. With the love of your family and friends and recognized by the power vested in me by the internet, it is my honor and privilege to declare you husband and wife. I am pleased to present the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Titan. You may kiss the bride.